Good day, brothers and sisters. Another day to spend with the Lord. Come, let us listen and reflect on His Word. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, The disciples of John the Baptist fast often and offer prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees do the same, but yours eat and drink. Jesus answered them, Can you make the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come, and when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast in those days. And he also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from a new cloak to patch an old one. Otherwise, he will tear the new and the piece from it will not match the old cloak. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins and it will be spilled and the skins will be ruined. Rather, new wine must be poured into fresh wineskins, and no one who has been drinking old wine desires new, for he says, The old is good. The Gospel of the Lord New wine into fresh wineskins. In a parable or wise saying, Jesus says that no one who has been drinking old wine desires new, for the drinker says, The old is good. The wine connoisseur will indeed attest to this, but in the Gospel reading, Jesus refers to the old mentality that does not welcome the novelty of Jesus' teaching. The scribes and the Pharisees rest content in their knowledge and practice of the Mosaic Law like fasting, keeping the Sabbath, and the kosher laws. They are offended when Jesus heals on a Sabbath, welcomes sinners, does not insist on fasting, and declares that what enters the mouth is not what defiles a person. Jesus comes with a new teaching, with an authority that comes from God. It is a liberating message that invites people to rejoice at the entry of the kingdom into their lives. Those who are content with the old ways should have an open and fresh mentality to welcome Jesus' new wine. Today, we are invited by the church to join the new evangelization for the transmission of the Christian faith. It calls for a new ardor, new methods, and new expressions. Are we open to its challenges?